is there a model we could, you know, work together as a team on with you heading up the team as, you know, coaching from a cash flow standpoint, bringing in the right mortgage professionals, bringing in the advisor and saying, okay, could, between the three of you, is there a world where we could use the sale of the property, some remaining assets to get her qualified for maybe a heckum? Because, you know, that might be another, you know, game changing type move for her where she could go to the right type of mortgage product if for her unique situation and the cash flow would be, I mean, there is no other way to get that kind of cash flow for her at this stage in life. So, you know, it might be worth bringing some cash to close to say, man, could you like, let, let me give you an example. Let's say she had to come up with a hundred thousand dollars and that got her to a level where she'd be able to qualify for that heckum at some point. Well, where could she put that hundred grand that would have a, an impact of about 3000 a month? She's not going to be able to keep it with the financial advisor and get that kind of amount if she, if she can, but she's going to run out really quick. Uh -huh. So again, that's a kind of a, a thought process and like, okay, how could we fully make sure that we've done everything we possibly can. And again, for me, it's not about saying what's right or wrong or pushing her to do something or saying, this is the best. There is no best. We're just trying to optimize based on what we can work with. And, you know, if it falls in alignment with her, we got to do these exercises as a team to say, okay, well, did we look under every stone? Did we miss something? And we got to do these exercises with our clients and as a team approach so that they can get all the information. Oftentimes people are making decisions based on e either limited beliefs or not all the, all, having all the details. Right. And so when you have a team like us that can go through and sit down and say, and I'm including you on that team, like all of us together and say, okay, how can we all get on your side of the table, lay out all the different choices, make sure you understand the pros and cons of each, and then you can help us to create the, the path that's gonna make the most sense for you. Gotcha, so when you were, I think alluding to the potential like acceleration of the primary mortgage, like paying it down enough to a yeah. point where we could qualify. So between say now over the next six years, if we were to just look at what the property would be at six years from now, just making the normal payments, we can yeah. look at that and see, okay, does it get us there? Yeah. Then in those six years, let's say we seller finance, we remove the obligation of that mortgage payment. Yep that cash flow increase are you saying potentially that money could be best spent by making extra payments to the mortgage i'm saying that plus a combination of maybe some annuity partial withdrawals okay. so maybe maybe instead of like triggering this big income payment one day maybe we look at it and say okay what if we just took a portion of withdrawals over the next six years still let the annuity increase for future income but use those partial withdrawals to make payments to get her qualified to a point where she could have a life-changing scenario with that mortgage that that's that's a that's a something that i think needs to be discussed right i always look at these situations from like what if it was my grandma like what if grandma came to me one day and said hey uh i got some cash flow challenges can you come step in and take a look at my stuff mm -hmm. and you get in there denzel and you go oh well this lady sold her a property she didn't need this person set her up with this account this person pitched her a private fund this person like or you come into the scenario and go oh wow Grandma found a team. This team looked to optimize her scenario based on removing the key risks to give her a, a confidence so that she could not only have everything she needs for the rest of her life without with peace of mind, but she, grandma can show up as grandma again. Grandma's not stressed every time I talk to her. Right. You know, grandma's grandma. Like we grandma came to my my, you know, my son's basketball game. You know, grandma made made the family reunion trip, you know, you know, and, and things like that. So that's important. Like you know, it's really important. That's really, to me, the most important thing is, you know, are we doing everything we possibly can for each individual we get the opportunity to serve? And so, yeah, that's why you and I work so well together, because when you talk about the framework of when you go to you, when you go to me, your event was absolutely incredible. And one of the things I noticed after the event was when I got done talking at it, uh, a ton of people ran up to me. They're like, I got to learn more about this and this and this. And I'm like, it's exciting, right? It's amazing. But there's different phases of life, right? If you're in the phase where you're trying to get your numbers together, you really need a good solid coach to look over and create a cash flow analysis. They need to come to you to get everything right first. Then when we're talking about retirement and we get to a certain age, probably like closer to, you know, 50, 55, you know, in that range, that's when we can really start to look at how do we, you know, map out some of these tools like annuities, 60 and up, I would say. Um, but, you know, preparing for retirement starts as early as right now. Like we should all be constantly thinking Absolutely. about how we can be doing things to set up our retirement because the earlier you start, the better it is. But using the specific tool of like an annuity, that's really going to be for somebody who's going to be like closer to like 60 and up in, in this example. Got it.